A lawmaker is calling for transparency following a chemical spill at a Charleston plant. Yeah, the chemical phosphorus, highly flammable, raising concerns for neighbors in the Charleston Neck area. Continental investigator Sophia Arizosa speaks with State Representative Wendell Gilliard and uncovers past violations at this facility. Brendan, this is video from a phosphorus spill and a subsequent fire. It happened last week at the Langsess facility off of the King Street extension. It caused closures on area roads, including I-26, and required a reverse 911 call to neighbors. Langsess says no one was injured and that the fire was put out quickly, but neighbors in the area say they're alarmed. Everybody's concerned about the environment, uh, their health. State Representative Wendell Gilliard releasing this letter to the Langsys plant manager, calling for a meeting amid increasing concerns about chemicals processed at the plant. Concerns, of course. We've been getting a lot of phone calls. People have been stopping by uh, wanting to talk about the, the past and the future. The neighboring communities on edge following a phosphorus spill and fire that resulted in a shelter in place warning. This is Charleston County Consolidated 911 Center calling on behalf of North Charleston and City of Charleston Fire Department in regards to a chemically related structure fire in the area. We ask that all residents please remain sheltered in place, securing all windows and doors until further notice. We spoke to the plant manager on the scene of the fire who said the chemical is used in everyday products. In pharmaceutical products, in uh, flame retardants uh, products, in agricultural products, a variety of products that are used uh, uh, every day. A quick Google search reveals it is highly flammable and easily produces a lot of smoke, irritating eyes and lungs. So much so, the chemical has been used as a weapon of war. And they should be safe, you know. Safety is first and foremost. Uh, and when you're working with a company that deals with a lot of flammables, combustibles. So I looked into the facility and learned in October of this year, OSHA handed them a $3,000 penalty for violating safety and health rules and regulations. This following a chlorine leak that sent six employees to the hospital this summer. Representative Gilliard actually worked at the plant under different ownership for more than two decades. Now he's requesting a site visit to learn more about safety measures to protect employees and neighbors. I'm here to create dialogue and make sure that they're doing the right thing. I reached out to Langsess. Their spokesman responded with a statement reading in part, we look forward to meeting with Representative Gilliard and other community leaders later this week. Just as we have been transparent and cooperative with the regulatory agencies, we will approach this discussion with the same way. End quote. Reporting live in studio, Sophia Urzoza, 